This is the old bridge at Ferry Bridge. The bridge was designed by York-based architect John Carr in 1797 and construction was completed in 1808 by surveyor Bernard Hartley. It is located where the old Great North Road crosses the River Eyre. This film is about a previous bridge at this crossing point of the River Eyre, a bridge that played a pivotal role in English history during the Wars of the Roses in 1461. The old bridge is used as a backdrop for this story. Students of history will be aware that the bloodiest battle ever fought on English soil took place north of the bridge between the villages of Saxton and Towton. What history remembers as the Battle of Towton took place in a blizzard on Palm Sunday 29th of March 1461. It ended with the decisive victory of the Yorkist forces and the consolidation of Edward IV's grip on the English throne over his rival, Henry VI. Around 28,000 men died in the battle itself, with more falling in its aftermath. However, before the Battle of Towton could ever be fought, the strategic crossing point where the Great North Road went over the River Eyre had to be secured by Yorkist forces. Initially, the bridge was controlled by Lancastrian forces under the command of Lord Clifford. Edward VI sent John Ratcliffe, Lord Fitzwalter, to seize control of this strategically critical bridge. Lord Clifford provided a resilient defence of the bridge and the Yorkists were made to suffer a terrible number of casualties. He bought time for the main Lancastrian army at Towton to dig in and consolidate their position. Before Yorkist forces captured the bridge, Clifford inflicted significant damage on the bridge itself, enough damage to mean that Yorkist forces had to carry out significant repairs before they could cross. While repairs were being made, Lancastrian archers could inflict much damage on Yorkist forces. In the end, there were around 3,000 casualties at the Battle of Ferry Bridge, which was a significant number in the context of battles at the time. Looking back on that bitterly cold day in 1461, a year when spring came late, it is hard to believe exactly what the scene was like. You can try to put yourself in the position of a Lancastrian archer on this side of the river and imagine the Yorkist army over there on the south bank, near the place where Ferrybridge Power Station stands today. You can imagine yourself taking pot shots at men on the bridge desperately trying to repair it so that the rest of the army can cross. On the south bank, you can put yourself in a Yorkist's shoes as they look out across the cold river, wondering whether they would survive the effort to get to the other side. If you made it across, you would then be wondering what awaited you out there, hidden from view, and whether your luck would continue to hold for another day. Today, the South Bank, the site of much Yorkist suffering, is quite serene, and there is even a picnic area in a place where men, perhaps, once fought and died.